How's it going guys? Today's video, it's gonna be interesting. I've got a case today that fits into this box. Can fit a 360 millimeter GPU that is triple slot wide and a 160 millimeter air cooler along with a 240 millimeter AIO if we wanted to. And the best part about it is this case isn't black. This case is actually purple, pink, and black. It's fairly unique looking and it even has little bat wings. I know Inwin's been doing a lot of crazy stuff lately, but this case stood out among everything that they were making to me. Today, we're gonna be unboxing the Inwin Case Monster E model Lufer because they didn't wanna put Lucifer on the box. How's it going guys? My name is Wolfie and you are watching Greater Than Pi and this is the uh, Case Monster Lufer case from Inwin. Now, what stood out about this case to me is that it wasn't black and white, it had other colors. I quite literally was introduced to this case as a glance in a CES coverage video. I saw it in the background, I had to look it up and when I found that it was for sale, I added it to cart. Now, it looks like you can only really buy this from Inwin store, so I should probably talk about the shipping experience with them. And fortunately, it was quite good. The checkout process was a little weird. It recommended that I use Google Pay to pay for everything, but it didn't arrive within three days. And then I had to deal with the USPS and the complicated nature of finding the right post office that the box was sitting at. But fortunately, it did come relatively unscathed. But that's enough about the box on the outside. Let's open it up and show you why this was so interesting to me. There we go. All right. So, oh, that's cool. The, the insert actually pops out with the side of the box. So let's actually take a look here first. You'll notice some interesting little details. We've got a photo card of Lufer, along with some info about the character. And uh, you can definitely see that with, uh, wait a second, Overwatch, what? I was gonna use that face, but uh, I'm thinking that face. So one of the weird features about the Inwin Case Monster series is they have these faces that are meant to be stuck to the front of the case itself. So we're definitely gonna be doing that. And I was gonna use the Fang one, but I think the uh, Diva GG bunny is gonna win out here. We also have a manual for it, which you will need because uh, it is mini ITX. So, uh, oh my, is this case flat packed? Uh oh, I didn't expect that. Okay, we're gonna keep that manual handy. It looks like this case might be flat packed according to that. What? I did not know it was coming with three of Inwin series loop fans. These look like legit, like just good fans. This case wasn't that expensive. It was $140. And for Mini ITX, that is not that bad. So the fact that it comes with three of these ARGB fans from Inwin, that feel pretty nice. That's a good sign. Oh, and it is definitely flat packed. These are our little bat wings for the case. PSU bracket. Extendo power supply cable. That front panel is quality. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna like, that is really nice feeling. So the power supply actually sits against the front panel. So you actually have a reverse airflow situation when it comes to this case. There is a significant enough of a gap here though that I could see the power supply being able to breathe at least. And then this looks like ARGB controls, various accessories. And it looks like it's all individually bagged and it's in this Ziploc bag. And that pops out like that. And we have the actual panels themselves. So it looks like our top ventilated panel is all plastic. I'm assuming these are gonna be the feet, also plastic. This part is also plastic. So the front panel is the only part that has been metal so far. And there's another layer here. Oh gosh. Now this is nice. So 
Outer frame is plastic, but the inner frame is in fact tempered glass. And then our back piece is metal. And again, we got more tempered glass. All right, that's a lot of pieces. I'm gonna have to build this case. I was not expecting that. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited. This is gonna be cool. So this is definitely where they've saved some money, right? They didn't assemble it, so they passed that on to you. But then they made it up by giving you fans. So let's actually take a look at those fans really quickly. Then I'm gonna lay this all out and we're gonna assemble. It's not cutting, but it did come off. All right, so it came with three. I'm assuming one for the back and the two for the top. Those are nice, they're heavy. Okay, they have little uh, vibration dampening pads that you can install. Not bad. And then it is a RGB and it is, it looks like three pin PWM. Yes, no, four pin PWM and pass through. So you can actually daisy chain the fans together. Okay, that's really cool. 120 millimeter fans. And it's a range of 500 to 1,800. Not bad. And they're ARGB, so super cool. We'll use those in the build. Okay, got my iFixit kit. Hopefully that will work. Probably will work. These are gonna be small screws, I think. Not sure, never done this before. Okay, so manual time. It's like building a Lego set. Step, oh, it is just like building a Lego set. Step one, take uh, this panel. We're gonna attach it to that panel. It does not wanna fit. Unless. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. A little bit of labeling would have gone a long way here. Next up is to take the tempered glass off the tempered glass side panels. What you can do by simply lifting in when low. Oh. Oh, that was nice. It's toolless. That is really nice. I like that. I want more tempered glass side panels that come off like that. Okay, step three. Step three, build the entire case. Got it. <laughs> step three is to put all of these panels together so that they make sense. So it's this panel right here, which is the top of the case. And since we've got our case like this, we could just go like that. Oh, wait, no, no, it looks like it actually has a, how does, how does this work? You just kind of set it there and you line these up, which are they directional? They don't look particularly directional, they are. Line them up like this. That was kind of satisfying actually. <laughs> and then it's more of these screws. So then we just kind of like set that all together like this. But probably the most expensive piece of this case. And we want to install it this way. And it goes in there. So you probably want to do yeah, just like that. Uh, and when? Why is it that this piece? Oh, because I, I jumped ahead. I jumped ahead. This is my fault. Okay, so this goes like this. And then that. Technically speaking, you're supposed to screw it in first, but I'm just going to move ahead and do this. Do it all at once, you know? All right, 
So apparently these are reversible. That's good to know. So you can actually have it with an inverted layout. Interesting. Why you'd want to invert this layout, I don't know, but you can invert it. Because the top and the bottom are interchangeable. Huh. So these just kind of set in like that. And then there's a screw. Now, step number seven, install the PSU mount. PSU mount goes towards the front over here. So this bad boy can actually fit a full ATX unit in it. Um, if you wanted to, you could do small form factor with an adapter, but it does by default fit ATX. So we run it through this way. Like that. There we go. Now we got our power cable installed. All right. Now the next step is to reinstall the tempered glass side panels. Okay, I can do that. Normally I would save the peel for after the build, but because this in and of itself felt like a build, let's, uh, let's do the honors. But there we have it. Now you can leave this case like this if you really wanted to, but uh, I'm not. We paid for specifically Loofer here. So let's address her up. That puts on the little bat wings. And then and I think we're just gonna put it like tiny on there. Gonna show you guys a little bit of a hack. Line that up how we want it. Apply it like so. Okay, now we just gotta carefully release. Boom! Got it! <laughs> All right, we just kind of like gotta let that in here, wipe off any excess crap on it, and there we go. That's our case. <laughs> okay, now that this case is built up and it's fully assembled, let's talk about it and what you can actually put into it. This case takes mini ITX motherboards only, but power supply wise, it puts a full ATX power supply. You can put a GPU, as we mentioned prior, of 360 millimeters long and three slots wide, a CPU cooling tower of 160 millimeters, and that looks to be with the fans installed on the top, so you might actually have a bit of extra room there. For storage, you can put two two and a half inch drives or one three and a half inch drive. With this kind of system, I would probably stick to using the SSDs because it definitely is light enough to be a LAN system. And I guess with the plastic and the minimal metal on it, that's probably the intended use case for something like this. Now, Inwin did kind of push this case and its marketing on their site towards children or people born in the 90s. You see, this case has a name. This is Loofer. 
And uh, Lufer has a character card almost like a Neopet. I know that's gonna sound really weird. When you look at the site for this case, you'll see that it's set up very similarly to how Neopets used to run their site. So Lufer lives in the evil world. Its species is demon and it's uh, a naughty disposition. This is legitimately all on the back of the character card for the case, which again, makes me feel like this is marketed towards both children or 90s kids. It's hard to tell what and when really wants to do here. It is for mini ITX, which generally out cost most systems that you would build with a kid. Most of the time you'll be building a micro ATX system. They do have bigger cases in this line. This one just in particular stood out to me and I don't, I don't know why. I guess maybe the iron mousey look to it, uh, the purple and the pink. I am, I am actually wearing pink right now with this. That was not intentional. Point is, it stood out to me and I really did like it. Actually, you know, it's it's the bat wings. It's definitely the bat wings. This case is fairly interesting. It's fairly unique and it's definitely one that I think more PC builders, once they find out about it, will be not necessarily, you know, going crazy for because feature wise, it's fairly limited, but it is one that seems really modable and might be really cool for a lot of more advanced builds. Not to mention color wise, at least not being all black and white means you can get creative with it. Now, what I'm gonna do with this case next is I'm going to be building some sort of a mini ITX system in there. And while I do have to kind of press forward to that ultimate PC build towards the end of the year, I might splurge, get it custom cables that are themed to the case before I actually get the ones that are themed to the mega build. So let's just say what we're gonna build in here is probably gonna be a lot more interesting than I originally thought. The case itself is a lot more interesting than I originally thought, but that's where we're gonna end today, guys. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed because we're gonna be building in this case. And uh, well, we've got lots of videos on the way. Also, you can check out my merch store. It is down below in the description. You can get merch before I even have it at this point, but I will be getting some soon so that I can demo it off. Leave a comment if you would like, uh, make some suggestions. I know I've got so many ideas for this and I would love to hear some of yours. I'll see you in the next video. Wolfie, out.